That's a perfect spot. <laughs> Missed. Dang it. All right, folks, morning. Man, some days I feel like I look like a proper lumberjack. Barn back there. This morning, I've got a couple things I want to do. I just picked up, and I'll show you here. Swung by the lumber yard yesterday and just grabbed some more two by fours because my next step here is to put on the siding in the roof. Siding's going to go first, like I said in the last video. Let's see. I need some nails. The other day I went looking for some more spikes and I had six inches in my truck the whole time. I think I picked these things up like, geez, I don't know, a year ago. Tells you how long I've been working on this project. Those two by fours are gonna go, so see how this is all on the same plane? All my bracing and my eight foot dividers. If you look up through there, you can see that rafter is not totally in line so in order to nail my siding to the you know very top I'm going to use my two by fours to bring everything on the same plane this you know this included and then if I have enough lumber which I doubt I will I want to start putting in the window casings window on the back side and maybe I might make it like a Dutch door you know the ones that split in half old houses had them in the kitchens so a window here in this big opening one over there Likely one right there, possibly one in the door. And I don't know, well, I'm definitely not gonna have enough wood, but I might put I might put one on the back side there. I'd love to put a window up there. I just don't know how to go about that. So, all right, that's enough talking for me. That's a lot. Let's get to nailing some two by fours up there. See what happens. All right, this always happens. I'm putting, I'm putting up that one board and I'm like, ooh, I have an idea. And that sounds way more fun than putting up more of those boards. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> up into the mezzanine. Okay, I can put a window here. I don't think that, oh, I wish this was a little wider, but I'm gonna put in a header right there. A couple jack studs, a couple king studs out of my two by fours. And I'm gonna be able to put a window right there. I love that. You know, it'll be right here. This is the sill. I've got it mapped out right here where my jacks and kings need to go. I've got an extra two by six for a header and I got a whole pile of those. So, I mean, I guess I, I just get sidetracked so easily. It seems fun. Let's do it. That guy is, yes, it's the same width as my header, but you're gonna see I'm gonna take this column out. So I need something to brace it, you know, before I do that. This guy is now going to go in the opening. 46 and 38. Six. So the reason I only put one nail in there is so I can do this. That's right at 46. I was trying to be cute with my little vlog camera, but uh, we had to switch over to the big guns here. So, boom, got my header in there. I'm going to cut this out now. I 
cut it as far as I could with my circular saw, but hand saw that out, psh, cut that out and then frame this window in. I'd love to finish this morning. One reason I cut through it with the circular saw and then the hand saw, pro tip, notice how my saw never got pinched. That tells me all the load is on here now. None of the load is on here. So I'm safe to take that out. Just a quick, quick tip. This is much better. I'm able to keep the, my, my shaking you? <laughs> I'm able to keep my roof structure the way it was and the way I like. And I'm able to have a window up here, which is gonna be sweet because it's mezzanine. Here, the other thing it's gonna do is take, remember how I talked about in the first section or maybe the second or maybe the third, I talked about not wanting a ton of weight on this right here. As it stood, most of that weight was boom, right there in the center. Now we're moving it out 38 inches. So it's gonna be sitting more on those braces than it was, which is nice. So that is my jack. This is gonna go there. Nice. We're just beefing this up and this, if we rewind, this is going back to what we were originally doing, which was this piece right here is gonna be where our siding butts up. So. Yes, I took a small detour, but at the end of the day, it's still kind of doing the same thing. Here's how I like to do these. That guy. We're gonna bring it right to our mark. I'm gonna toenail it from the outside. So from this side, and I'm only gonna put like a couple in there because most of what's gonna hold this together is our siding that comes up the, uh, comes up the outside there. So I like to toenail it, then get it square, pop that in the top, and away we go. Okay. Sweet. I really like that. All right, I'll check it out. Here we go. 38 and a half, love it. And 38 and a half. We're not leaving today until we get this sucker framed in. That's a perfect spot for, check it out. You can put plants up here. That's gonna be awesome. It'll open out that way. All right, 46. Thirty-eight and a half. Thirty-eight and a half. All right. Alrighty. So there we go. That thing is framed in. It's perfectly square, which is pretty amazing for this project. But uh, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. A window is ready to go in there, and actually this whole side is ready for siding because I uh, I attached my little nailers there. So we're ready for siding over here, and uh, we're going to continue to go around the barn and do this kind of stuff. Um, and then we'll do one big video, I think, of you know all the siding and then boom, all the roofing. And then from there, it's just kind of making it look pretty. All right, we'll see you next time.